Good morning. Sunday morning. Happy Sunday. Welcome to Education and welcome to another episode of You Laugh, You Lose. If you are new to this channel and new to this series, the game is simple. If you laugh at anything, you lose, you have to do a punishment. What is today's punishment? You guys, it's a tough one today and it's a very serious one. If you laugh today, you have to do this. If you lose today, you have to uproot your family and move to a state where there is winter six months out of the year. A state where you pay the fourth highest income tax rate out of any other state. And a state where the sports teams let you down every single year without fail. You have to move to Minnesota, okay? That's just what you have to do. It's a very torturous place. You know, it's always, you know, there's a couple good things. We got fish and opener coming up. Great place to fish, but that's about it. So if you laugh, you lose, you move to Minnesota. That's the punishment today. If you accept the terms of today's very serious punishment, head down and like this video. And if you are new here, please make sure you are subscribed and have the bell clicked for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Now on to today's game. If you laugh, you lose, go. The HOA president after driving by my house and seeing I've converted my entire lawn into a cornfield. <laughs> If anyone's ever done this just to piss off the HOA president, Godspeed. I love you. All right. Do whatever you can to uproot these little pockets of power. These HOAs. Terrible, terrible things that should not exist. Italian man being forced to watch Chris Pratt voice Mario without an Italian accent. Have you guys seen that? Allegedly, it's like the box office smash hit of the year so far. So I kind of want to see it. I like Chris Pratt. Maybe maybe he's pissed about the Italian accent. Who cares? Whatever. Going to get a tattoo today. What should I get? If you don't have a need for one, don't get it. Tattoos are for something important. And he got... Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You can do whatever you want, right? You can, do, you can get any tattoo you want or not get a tattoo. But... Eh, that's, that's stupid. Kind of funny. It's good for the meme... For the 30 seconds on here on this education, but that's about it. Teacher, please grade each other's work. Me and the boys. <laughs> so it's even better when they let you grade your own paper. Get out of here. What if slugs are just divorced snails? Yeah, Michelle took the house. <laughs> that's stupid. Uh, possible? Yes. Stupid? Yes. Apple has been granted a patent to make an AirPods case with a touchscreen display. This is basically an iPod. I'm not opposed to that. I miss the iPods. You know, your iPhone is the iPod. Is, I don't know. I miss the old days. I miss it. Remember the squirrely or the swirly scroll bar? Those were the days, man. Bring it back. Holding back laughter when your kid does something inappropriate, but also totally hilarious. <laughs> It's hard. It's hard not to laugh. Truly. But that's why you got to take yourself out of the room and not laugh in front of them. <laughs> they say money talks, but mine just waves goodbye. Yeah, that's just... It's depressing, but it's it's true. Make sure you invest it right. You know, get that dividend cash flow rolling. It'll be all right. Bud Light, their customers. I said this this previous week, but I think that this boycott is actually working. Boycotts are dumb. They never work. They've, I, in the history of boycotts, I literally don't think one has ever worked until now. Seriously, I think this one's actually working. It's very bizarre. You know, people like Don Jr. are saying that they should stop the boycott, but the first one ever is finally working? I don't know. I, I, you love to see it. You love to see it. Sure, sex is cool, but have you ever farted? <laughs> it's stuck. Grow up. Grow up. This is... Wow, this is on here? Come on. <laughs> okay, next. In the film I Am Legend, 2007, Will Smith can be seen attempting to cure his bald wife. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my gosh. That is so offensive. I just can't believe these memes are still going around. Unreal. That is, now I'm triggered. The look at all the snowflakes being triggered over a can of beer starter pack. <laughs> you love the hypocrisy, right? The US dollar. 
the U.S. government. Ugh. Hey, we've been talking about this literally for two, three, four years about the problem with printing money out of thin air during the COVID days. It's not going to end well, and here we are. But hey, let's play the violence. Play the violence. Build back better your wallets. Yeah, that ain't funny. It's true. I started a mom jar. Every time my kids say mom, they have to put in $1. I'm up to $39 million. We started an hour ago. <laughs> Mom's out there. Is this true? Your kids say and ask for you too much? If you were a kid from the 90s, you know exactly what these smell like, what the texture is like inside, and you may even know what they taste like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you go to the arcade. You spend a stupid amount of money, 30, 40 bucks, just to get a handful of these stupid bouncy balls. I, I can. I can feel them right now. This took 15 seconds to load and was worth the wait. Chat GPT, please invent a new word that describes the feeling of accidentally opening the dishwasher when it's running. Disruptance? <laughs> Uh, that's a, a these robots, these AIs, chat GPT, genius. That's a genius word. I love it. Disruptance. Lowest percentage gets the charger. F that. And I'm F that. I'm sorry. We're not supposed to cuss on the show, right? But dude, if it's your charger, you get the charger. I don't care if you have 2%. That's your problem. That's your fault. Your irresponsibility. What are you doing letting your phone get down to 2% in the first place? What are you doing? No, 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 no. No. You go get a charger. That, no, this is wrong. Make Trump, Biden, and Obama play Minecraft together. At five signatures, this petition is more likely to be featured in recommendations. Okay. I want that. I want that. I will I'll sign this petition. Where is it? Is this real? What, what, how many signatures are we at? I want this. Megan, can we look this up? Is this a real petition? Because I'll promote the hell out of this. I Just for the sheer entertainment value. I want this. It, it, they'd be like two, three hours together. And only all three of them have to be on the same chat group, you know? I want this. The seventh grader in me wants to high five whoever did this. To unlock this suite for pumping or breastfeeding, enter really 8008 on the keypad grow up we got a lot of just absolutely immature bad humor on this one today boob boob <laughs> when you're at the checkout line and they ask you if you found everything say why are you hiding stuff i've always thought that's a weird thing to say too did you find everything okay uh yeah i'm here checking out so of course i did if i didn't i wouldn't be checking out yet retailers out there do they do they train you to say that any of you guys that run the checkouts golfers a pro v1 in a bush it's so true any golfers out there you ever just find a pro v1 in a bush it's great <laughs> it's like a five dollar golf ball the main rule at these games say how long you haven't played it before you start playing not even kidding. I played pool and darts in the last year, and both times I said that exact thing. I haven't played ping pong forever, though. Love that game. Back in my day, there was no Twitter, so you had to write your crazy ramblings on poster board and try to get it on national television. Destiny's Child <laughs> deals. Really? That was. <laughs> what a stupid poster. I guess that's really to, to get your voice out there. That's what you had to do. There was no social media. Makes sense, but that, really, that's what you wanted to say? Okay, this one takes it home this year. Ooh. Okay. I don't even know if this is a punishment, but I feel like for the amount of times whether people are wrong, like, especially in Minnesota, they're way wrong all the time. They have, they're batting, like, below the Mendoza line. They're batting 200 on their predictions. Punishment for that, if you will. I don't even think it's a punishment. They all have to wear this. I like this. This is legit. If you're going to be wrong, at least make it entertaining. Knoxville Zoo, count your effing days. I want my money back. This is no effing <laughs> A couple, couple things here. I hope that the Knoxville Zoo really did this. 
And I hope this person is really mad. <laughs> and I hope that the Knoxville Zoo was actually trying to pass this off as a line. There's a beautiful, beautiful line there. How do you know that this dog isn't identifying as a lion? You're going to strip away his identity like that? Huh? Really? That's it. When you finally buckle your tantrum and toddler in the car seat. <laughs> Sometimes it's, it's tough. It truly is. She's wiggling. She's not happy. It's uncomfortable for them. So, yeah, it, it's... Some days are harder than others. Parents, confirm. When I broke up with my high school boyfriend, my 10-year-old brother walked in on me crying and asked what was wrong. I told him, and he proceeded to go log onto Minecraft, join my ex's party, and go set their town on fire. A family of psychos. <laughs> That's brotherly love right there. He cares about you. That, that brother will go to the, the edge of the world and back for you. That's amazing. Statistics don't lie. Average duration of a phone call. Boy to boy. Boy to mum. Boy to dad. Boy to girl. Girl to girl. Five hours. Yeah. Husband to wife. Three seconds. Mum to married daughter. Ten hours. Wife to husband. Fourteen missed calls. He's on the golf course. Relax. He'll call you when he's done. I'm not coming to this girl's house no more. Oh, look at that. Please tell me there are people out there watching Zeducation on a, on TVs like this. I miss those TVs. It's like, if, if it works, why get a new one? A lot of people, they spend way too much money on the televisions. I, there's no problem with this. Might be a little bit hard to play Call of Duty on, but you gotta do what you gotta do. When you invite your lactose intolerant friends over for milkshakes. Or just don't have the milkshakes. How about that? That's, no. Scotland is using these glamour shots of Shetland ponies in cardigan sweaters to convince people to visit. They got me. I'm hooked. We're going. Pack your bags. Pack your bags. We're going to Scotland. We got to see the Shetland ponies in sweaters. That's amazing. When you hit a pothole going 85 and it sounds expensive. Yeah, when you guys lose and you move to Minnesota, just be careful driving through St. Cloud on Highway 10. Those bastards, it's, it's bad. Real bad. All of you that know what I'm talking about, you know. Confirm in the comments. I always keep an eye out. When I was eight, I got lost at the mall and started crying because I couldn't find my mom. So then a security guard came to help me, but I punched him in the nuts as hard as I could because stranger danger. And that dude still had to help me find my mom. I think about him a lot. <laughs> Smart kid. Stranger danger. Don't trust people. You shouldn't trust. That's what you, you should teach your kids. There's no such thing as a secret and stranger danger. That, that's what you should teach them. You know, aside from your parents losing you in the mall, they sound like good parents. Nope, 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 and nope. Banned. Whoever this lady is, you're banned. That's disgusting. Me trying to hold my laugh in serious moments. It, it does make it just a little bit funnier. When they say, stop laughing, it makes you want to laugh. So... It's so like when you're a kid and your parents tell you you should or shouldn't do something, you want to do the opposite. And this, you just got to laugh. My wife makes us put $5 in the find a jar every time we make her find something we can't locate in the house. After 13 months of saving, today we are buying a Ford Explorer. Okay, you know what my problem is? Generally, she's the one that moved everything around. That's why people don't know where things are. If she moved everything around and you can't find something, you should get $5. Yeah, husbands out there? Agreed? Yeah? Googling slang phrases I hear my kids use so I can understand what the hell they're talking about. I, I do this all the time, you know, on Twitter or whatever, and I see them, someone say something stupid. I'm like, what the hell does that mean? So maybe it means I'm getting old. My looks are a one. My personality is a one. My memes are an eight. So basically, I'm a 10. <laughs> hey, that's how you get the, the score. You add them up. You got a 10. You should always write yourself. You should know where you stand. How do you improve things? How do you change things? Be honest with yourself. But you're a 10. Yeah, I would agree. That's you're, you're a 10. You're a keeper. I'm in Target. I'm trying to buy a photo album. I asked where they might be. Worker did not know what a photo album was. I said it was a place to keep pictures. He sent me to the tech aisle. 
He assumed I wanted memory to store my pictures on my phone. I am 1 billion years old. Yeah, it's it's weird. I mean, we're there. This is where we are. You know, you, you're old if you remember what a photo album is. You're old if you remember the original iPhones. It's kind of weird. It's super depressing too. Old McDonald's was a fun playland. New McDonald's looks like a prison. Speaking of old, if you remember these days, back when McDonald's was great, and it was, and what what's going on with this? I, they remodeled every McDonald's in the country. It's I hate it. Bring back the hamburgers or the hamburger, the guy, the burglar guy. All their characters, you know, the chairs are all made out of them. Now it's garbage. The guy at the furniture store told me the sofa would seat five people without any problems. Then it occurred to me, I don't think I know five people without any problems. <laughs> we all got our problems. We all got our problems. So that guy, false advertising, he's a liar. Don't buy from him. Don't trust him. Having trouble forcing yourself to stay home? Shave your eyebrows off. Hey, what about this is offensive to people with alopecia? The the Will Smith wife, whatever her name is. Uh how wow. Uh, that would help though if you grew up with eyebrows your whole life and then you shaved them off. That would be dub. If your girl looks like this, she's a keeper. <laughs> Dumb. I love karma. The man who just drove into the parking space I was waiting for and told me to F off has arrived for his interview with me. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. That's yeah, that guy's not getting a job. Or do you hire that guy? Because there's no regard for anyone else. It's either, you know, get what's mine. So maybe he'll do that for your company. He'll get the sale. He'll get whatever it takes. There's a risk there, but Legend has it that a man parked his car while waiting for his wife to get ready. That's a real, real thing. Uh, you find these all over the place. It's a sad story, sad fable, but very true. It happens today. I almost, I almost ended up in this situation the other weekend. True. We repair what your husband fixed. <laughs> That's messed up. Not a bad advertisement, though. You know? I yelled cow at a woman on a bike and she gave me the finger. Then she plowed her bike straight into the cow. I tried. <laughs> Stupid. You warned her. You warned her. The snoring of men is the karma of women. Women don't shut up all day and men don't shut up all night. Whoa. Whoa, that hurts my feelings. That kind of makes sense, honestly. Women, any of you guys snore? Huh? Sleeping with your feet outside the blanket increases likelihood of monsters by 75%. Yeah, look at that. That's terrifying. This is a fact check truth. I don't know if you guys knew this. If you if you sleep with a leg out, you know, they'll reach right from underneath the bed. Happened to me twice. Hey, is the Mustang still for sale? Yes, it is. When can I come take a look? Whenever. I'm free tomorrow. Psych! April Fools! I'm not interested in that thing. Really, dude? <laughs> I think that's real. Um, that's the worst April Fool's joke ever seen. Stu that's stupid. <laughs> like, You ever look at someone and get a headache? Oh, yeah. Happens all the time. Some people are just dumb, and they're dumb. It's just, it's like radiological toxicity. It gives you a headache. When an outdoorsman goes camping, when my relatives go camping. Jeez. Is that camping? You guys ever been camping with a true outdoorsman? Someone that was like an Eagle Scout or something? It's like, how did you how did you know that? Rich people? Poor people? My daughter's boyfriend. <laughs> Dude, that's it's messed up. What did he do? Uh, there's a this is a deep meme though. You know, rich people, poor people. You don't take a U-Haul behind a hearse. That's what they say. Very rare, black kangaroo. <laughs> Grow up. This is just a disaster. Disaster today of grow up memes. It all started with gourmet coffee, followed by skinny jeans and man buns. Then along came IPAs, hard seltzers, and the downfall of oh, man. That's where it did start. You know, the gourmet coffee, the flavored coffee. Why do you even drink the flavored coffee? Uh, someone just said this. Flavored coffee 
Does it doesn't even matter what flavor it is because those same people go to the fridge and put in a gallon, half gallon of cream in each cup anyway. So my first time doing drywall. I think I nailed it. What do you have, building the Dr. Seuss house? I beg to differ. Have fun, uh, ooh, yeah, no. I was 23 years old when I realized Who Let the Dogs Out is a song about ugly girls in the club not letting actual dogs out. Wow, yeah, no, that the... <laughs> wow, wow, I'm, I'm stupid because uh, I thought that too. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know that. Stop saying you evolved from us. You people are a-holes. This is what the gorillas think. The silverbacks, they're pissed. They're pissed about being compared to us. Because, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of people, and a lot of people are dumber, too. Bad news. I took the wrong medication this morning. The good news. I am now protected from fleas and ticks for 30 days. Not a bad idea. I don't know. You don't want to get bit by those ticks. Some of them, are, they're carrying stuff, you know? Lyme's disease, all that crap. But, uh, yeah, you might want to take the other medication, too. I don't know what you took. Bathroom with a glass floor over abandoned elevator shaft. Why? That's terrifying. I, no. No, no, no. Where is this? You're telling me I can't pick my bedtime, but I can pick my gender? Yes. Welcome to 2023. That's what you can do today. Not funny. I know. Me making plans for the weekend. Me when the weekend arrives. That's how it always is. You know, that's why I always say don't make plans. Only ma only do spontaneous things like, oh, it's Saturday. Ah, should we do something tonight? Oh, oh, sure. You know, I'm feeling like it. Oh, but we made plans six days ago, but now I kind of don't want to. You don't have the option unless you want to pretend like you're sick. I've been alive 20 years and still haven't found the right thing to say when someone knocks on the door of the public bathroom you're in. Come back with a warrant is my go-to. <laughs> That's the best one I've heard. I have not seen that one yet. I'm going to use that next time. Come back with a warrant. Me in 97 after creating the same password that I use for everything today. Surf's up. See you on the net. <laughs> if you're still using the same password from 97, eh, you might want to change it up a little bit. It's uh, advice there. The hole in my underwear watching me buy new AirPods. Okay. Depends on where the hole is. Buying new underwear, no one sees them. Who cares? Who cares? Like, why spend a ton of money? You should have a fresh pair every day. That's it. Just have a fresh pair. That's all you need. BRICS overtake G7 nations in global GDP to become economically more powerful. Meanwhile, the G7. Yeah. Oh, man. Priorities. Am I right? Priorities. <sighs> Pretty sad to see. I mean, they're literally taking over. The... China, Russia, Brazil, India. Uh, yeah, South Africa's in there too, I think. Good moms let you lick the beaters. Great moms turn them off first. Well, yeah, duh. Just don't get salmonella. Make sure there's no eggs in there. Me leaving work early knowing we understaffed. That's Zed Media, man. Everyone's freaking taking off early. Dave, Megan, Bo. They're all taking off early, man. This <laughs> is... Kidding, obviously. Kidding. 34 million in cash found in empty Nigerian apartment. Poor guy probably spent the past decade trying to share it, but no one ever replied to his email. <laughs> you know, if you would have just replied to the email saying you want a bunch of money, I'm about to buy this. I haven't slept good in a while. You can buy those now. Yeah, you know, I, I, don't lie. A lot of you were sleeping in class. If you want some good sleep, you can buy these on Amazon now, apparently. How would you do in today's video? Did you laugh at all? If you did, you got to move to the land of 10,000 lakes. You have to. You just, you got to do it, unfortunately. Let me know how you did down in the comments. While you're down there, please like this video. Please help us get it recommended to others. That's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed. And this is education. Let's go late and lick the world. Let's get it done. Idiots.